cover oil, basic production, and the first steps. But first, we're going to cover the car. So now that we have engine units, we can get, we can build um, a car. Uh, you can't build it in your inventory because you can't build engines in your inventory. But you can build the car in your inventory, or you can build the car in your inventory once you have the engines from your factory. Um, it, it requires uh, fuel, wood, coal, anything that you use. The 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 burned value of the fuel will it will change the speed of the car. You can also round load piercing rounds or, or or any ammo, any gun ammo into the gun turret on top, and that allows you to drive it around. You you drive significantly faster than you can walk. Uh, the problem is it is a little weird, and running into trees damages uh, the car. And can knock over the tree, but uh, later on we'll be getting the tank, which drives slower than the car, is still faster than walking, and it just doesn't care about trees. It slows it down, but it doesn't actually stop it, and doesn't injure it. So we're going to come down here to these purple dots on the map. These purple dots on the map being, uh, being oil patches. And in between times, we have gone and we have made ourselves a bunch of... Um, made ourselves a bunch of, um, words are hard, uh, refine, or not refineries, pumps, so, do, 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 pump jacks, should have 14 of them, why do I only have 11, hmm, anyway, um, so, if you, again, Q over crude oil, you will see, You'll pop a pump jack into your hand, and then that will show you everywhere you can put a pump jack. So we're going to put them here. Let's put these guys facing up. I tend to point, the way, when I'm doing this, I tend to point all of the pump jacks towards kind of a central-ish location. And then from there, oh, I'm going to wait for the last few to build. Uh, from there, we, we pipe, so we're going to put, uh, let's see, let's drop you off our inventory, place you here, drop you off, let's put in, actually, put you there, we have pipes, and we have underground pipes, pipes ground, alright, so we're going to want to say this is our line, this is where, this is the line that goes through the thing um, that gathers all of our oil into one pipeline. So what we're going to do to establish that, we'll just go click and drag our under pipes across the entire field. That'll, that'll give us a place to uh, point at. And then we will go there, 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 and there. Um... That way, that way, and you just keep connecting this up. All the way across. Uh, let's see. Like, this one can't go across here because there's always some, already something in the way. So what we'll do is we will take it down to, take it over here. We will use underpipes. So I use underpipes literally anywhere that I can. Uh, because underpipes allow you to walk through your factory. Uh, which is really, really, really important. Be able to walk walk your factory without getting stuck on anything. Or getting stuck on as little as possible at the very least. Grab another, there we go, standard pipe. Alright, so we're going to come up, start coming up from the bottom. You go there. You go there. That goes there. Do, 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 do. That goes there. That goes there. This is the end of the line, so we probably don't need those off the end. Um, grab you. Grab you. Grab you. Yeah, can't do it there, so we'll just do like that. No, oh, there's one more this way. Up, oh, and just whenever you can, just just hold the button down and walk. So that you can just, um, it automatically makes the right distance. Come up from here. Right there. So 
So this is going to be a long section. That's okay. Generally speaking, you want for for your later, later mega basing needs, you want as few uh, above ground pipes as possible because every pipe... Ah, so can't do that. So what we'll do is we'll do that. Do that. Actually, no, we won't do that. Again, we want as few up above ground pipes as possible. So let's just do this. Do that there, do this here. And now we have connected all of our pipes to uh, all of our all of our oil wells to pipes. I'm gonna go ahead and add power across here like this. Like that. Like that. I'm sure there are better ways to organize power and stuff, but I quick and quick and dirty works 90% of the time. If you need to refine it later to like add beacons or something, you absolutely can, or you should rather. Um, okay, we're gonna come oh, out to about here, about here. I'm gonna come to there, and then we're gonna turn north. Uh, I have produced and am carrying a large number of underground pipes because oil, especially the initial setup, takes just so many underground pipes. Way more than you think is a reasonable number. Because it is way more than a reasonable number. Alright, and there. Follow this up. Uh, won't reach. There, there. That will, though. Follow this all the way up. And once we get up to our factory, what we'll do is we'll bring... Oopsie. Grenades. So much good, better for tree clearing than than, oops, than any other. Really, it, until you have nukes, grenades are the most effective tree clearing thing you have. Learn to love them. Um, let's go. Just in case we have to go around this cliff somehow. There we go. Again, I don't like killing trees unless I have to, but I will absolutely kill trees that are, like, I will kill more trees than necessary. Um, but yeah, tree, cause trees, trees absorb pollution, um, which is good. Like you see this entire, like there's no pollution here at all. It's because of those trees, uh, which means that the, the, the pollution cloud doesn't grow too big. Which is good because that means the biters aren't getting polluted, the biters aren't attacking you. And you don't need to worry about setting up defense. Or you don't need to worry about setting up a lot of defense. Some of still helps. Especially as your base gets large enough that it gets hard to walk around. Alright, thank you, autosave. And we have arrived at our base. So let's grab our power poles. And let's drag our power poles right back the other direction. Nope, that's off by one. There we go. Finish this off. 
Nope, off I went again. There we go. And I already see a problem. So we didn't turn the corner with the pipe. Well, that one didn't get power. So while we're here, we'll finish up, you know, making sure everything has power, making sure everything can continue to pump. Looks like everything is pumping away just fine. So if everything is continuing to pump, that means we have, uh, all of these actually have connection to the main pipe. Let's go ahead and grab our car, drive it back up. So don't run into your pipeline because it will wreck it. Same with your power poles. The driving the car definitely takes getting used to. Ow. And if you don't hit the trees at a high enough speed, you won't even you won't even take them out. You'll get stopped by them. All right. So so I don't have to find this car later. I'm just gonna pick it up. Oopsie. Pick up a bunch of stuff I didn't intend to, but you know as you do. So where we're gonna put our oil production is we're gonna put it up here um, because it takes a lot of space, and especially as we continue to grow. We'll continue to take more and more space. Oil takes an incredible amount of space, so let's take it up through our factory. Grab you. I don't think you'll reach all the way across. No, you won't. So let's go ahead and finish off up here, and we will put. Yeah, this is this is a decent-ish place to put our oil. Let's get rid of excess trees. Hey, that's good. All right. All right. So what I, my first factory or my first oil production um, do, 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 is I tend to build three to five oil refineries. Um, just because that is, put you there. That's a decent number to start. So you will only start off with simple oil there we go so we can only pr basic oil processing right now and oh hey thankfully this always remains heavy so I need to I need to change that whole setup hold on there we go so the right hand side do, 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 do. so there 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. Do, 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 do. And grab that. All right, so, oh, and we should light this up. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave a gap of at least three. Uh, we'll leave a gap of three. So, so this allows us to put in beacons later. It also gives us walking room around, walking room around the thing, um, and pipe allows for allows for a later expansion as well. There we go. So, copy. Now that we have this. What we can do is paste so that we get our alignment right. Do just like that. Remember, Control C is copy, Control V is paste. It also lets us get everything like this, like that, and one, two, three. All right. So these guys have oil coming in, and we're going to connect you to with a big power pole up to another power pole somewhere. That'll work. And refining is just starting to produce. So basic oil production only produces light. 
We will cover medium and or, or oh, only produces petroleum gas. Uh, we will we will cover um, light and heavy crude later because those are advanced, which is what we want. Uh, you notice that the the first oil or the first uh, chemical science packs that I have will be for advanced oil processing. Uh, so one, two, three gap there. There. That to there. There. That to there. All right. Copy this again to get the alignment right. Again, leaving three gaps so that later on, oops, I can add beacons because oil, oil is one of those setups that you really end up wanting beacons on. There, and there. All right. So first things first, we're going to leave ourselves as much gap as we can. We will we will eventually need a total of four storage tanks, and that's pretty much all we will need in the game until we start shipping oil by train. I'm going to swap that, actually. Let's put you facing down. All right. So this will slowly fill up with petroleum gas until I start drawing it out, which is what's going to happen next. <laughs> um, all right, let's get rid of this stuff that's in the way. And I tend to have a bus of chemicals because you need various different chemicals from the factory. So... Just like we do a bus with belts, we're going to do a bus with chemicals. All right, so let's do this. All right. Uh, one. Yeah, that's right. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. So this is going to be our chemical bus. And there, and there. So, just like everything else, we'll pull, pull off of the chemical bus as we need it. And we have a very basic, very, very basic. Oh, I should put a pump in. So, I never want, or I want to be drawing this out as quickly as possible. So, we're going to put a pump. Oops, that's the wrong kind of pump. Inventory is full. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, I forgot to put a radar dish down by the oil. Nah. Um, we'll repair these and that'll fix the problem. We, I mean, we'll, we'll need that offshore pump later, but what we need is a pump pump. Uh, what can we put down or get rid of? those. Alright. Pump is here. There we go. So to draw as much fluid out of a tank as possible and to put as much fluid into a tank as possible, we use pumps. So that they also help us later when we're doing things like uh, controlling with wires. <clears throat> there and there. All right. So now that we have that set up, we have very basic oil production. Our next order of business will be sulfur production. Then we will be doing uh, sulfur and then probably batteries and explosives. Follow up by plastic and then red circuits. So, I will see you next time. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye.